the ocean is way deeper than you think. Well, this statement doesn't hold true if you perhaps head of the Mariana Trench. What's the Mariana Trench, you ask? And what has it got to do with how deep the ocean is? If you're asking this question, then this video is for you. So how deep is the ocean? Short answer, it is extremely and imaginably deep. Long answer, that's what we intend to get to in this video. The ocean is so deep that the highest man-made structures would fit in with so much more room to spare. The Empire State Building at 443 meters, if it were to be put into the ocean, would just be about 10% of the average depth of the ocean. And the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the highest man-made structure at 830 meters, if it were to be inserted standing into the sea, it would be reaching less than 10% of the depth of the deepest parts of the ocean. Okay. Let's back up a bit and start at the shallower parts of the ocean, before we delve into the paths so deep that even sunlight doesn't get into. Let's start with the part that is closest to land, where we are all familiar with, where we swim at the beach. This part is referred to as the continental table. About 500 meters out, the ocean begins to get deeper, gradually goes to a depth of 300 meters. This is like three football fields placed end to end and arranged vertically, but this is just the beginning. At this point, the gradual descent flattens out and we have what is called the continental shelf. And two kilometers beyond this point, we'll have the abyssal plain. Where we've gone further out, now let's get deeper. Our first point of call is at 40 meters. If you're a recreational scuba diver, this is the level you stop. At this point, you are still within the continental table or the intertidal zone. 20 meters below this, that is at the 60 meters mark, we get to meet the orca. They are the top of the food chain in the ocean, and this is the depth that they inhabit most oceans. As we go lower, towards 195 to 200 meters, we are gradually leaving the photic zone for the aphotic zone. The photic zone is the area where sunlight gets to, while the aphotic zone is the region of the ocean where there's little to no sunlight. Also, between 0 to 200 meters is where 90% of the aquatic organisms exist. As the sun reduces and the water pressure increases, there's a reduction in the presence of aquatic life generally, or better still, the aquatic life that we are familiar with. As we descend to the 70 meter mark, we meet with the largest fish species, the whale shark. They grow to about 18 meters long and can weigh up to 60 tons. As big as they are, it is not unusual for them to be preyed upon by orcas, especially juvenile whale sharks or those that are injured. At this point, we are at the 93 meter mark. This is the place the Statue of Liberty would reach if it were to be turned upside down, with its bottom at the top of the ocean and its top reaching into the water. Deeper at 100 meters, we find the giant Pacific octopus. They inhabit this area all the way up to 2000 meters below sea level. Just 13 meters beneath the photic zone is where we meet the USS Triton at 213 meters. It holds the record for being the first submarine to circumnavigate the earth. This was done in 1960. And at 255 meters, we encounter 51 year old Herbert Nietzsche. No, he doesn't live down here and he's not an aquatic organism. He is the first human to free dive to these depths without the help of any diving gear. At this point, we are encountering pressures 25 times what is on the surface, and only a handful of people would even attempt to get in here without gear. Still, talking about humans who have descended into the aquatic depths, we have an Egyptian special forces operator and diving instructor. He descended to 323 meters with scuba diving gear. He also holds the Guinness World Record for the lowest descent with scuba diving gear. Yet this isn't the lowest humans can reach. In fact, humans have descended lower than this. We'll find out as we go deeper. There's still so much of the underwater world to explore. For humans though at this point, we are in very deep. Ever heard of the Empire State Building in New York? It was at one time the tallest man-made structure in the world. If we turned it upside down, not that we could anyways, this is just in our imaginations. With the bottom at the same level with the ocean and the highest point of that building will get to 443 meters below sea level. That's currently where we are at this point visibility has greatly reduced as the waves of suns and is unable to get here in its full strength. Less than 1% of the sun's rays get here and it's only going to get darker as we descend. Now at 500 meter mark, we meet the blue whale, come on, we actually met them above. This region is just the lowest they can dive to. Most of their food is located above. They probably come here to escape their activities and company of those above this part of the water is quiet, darker and colder. There is nothing bigger than the blue whale in the entire world, both on land and in sea. There is still so much debt to cover, so we'll descend faster now. Come with me. Let's get through 330 meters below 500 meters. This is the point where the Burj Khalifa would be for us to be able to see this tip on the surface of the ocean. 
A few meters below the spines, the ocean would have swallowed the tallest man-made structure completely. This is still less than 10% of the ocean's depth. This should begin to give you an idea of how deep the ocean is. At a thousand meters, we experience pitch darkness. We are deep in the aphotic zone and no single ray of sunlight gets here. If you find yourself here for any reason, two things would happen. You would not be able to see a thing and the pressure will be so much that you'll be crushed in only a few seconds. This region of the ocean is also called the Midnight Sun Commonwealth for obvious reasons. Most aquatic life forms that inhabit these depths cannot see. It's not as though they need it anyway. One of the animals you meet here is the Illis shrimp. There's also the black dragonfish. They inhabit this region at 2,290 meters. The water here is close to freezing and the only source of heat are hydrothermal vents that could heat the water around them to over 400 degrees Celsius. Deeper at 300 meters, we find the Corvar baked whale. This is the lowest depth the mammal has been recorded to be found. 800 meters below the curvier beaked whale, the remains of the HMS Titanic was found. The pressure here is at a staggering 376 times more than what is experienced at sea level. All the steps we begin to find, weird fish species, they do appear scary, such as the hagfish, the farm toothfish. Yeah, they have weird names for weird looking creatures. At 1,100 meters, we find the West Matter. It is one of the deepest options for canoes in the world, and the last time it erupted was in 2009. At 2,000 meters, we at least find some beauty in this dark, cold world. The deep sea coral waves, they're a beauty to behold. It's a pity that you and most other people wouldn't be able to see. Anyway, if you got here for any reasons, you would need very powerful flashlight to be able to see anything. As you descend deeper at 4,000 meters, reach the average depth of the ocean, where there is still so much more to explore. At this point, we are entering the abyssal zone. The creatures here since seem like creatures from a horror movie shot underwater. There is the angular fish you find it at four and a half thousand meters. It's long teeth and has a goat on its head that glows, which is used to attack the place. If you ever saw Finding Nemo, you must have seen this fish in your ass at a point when Nemo was trying to go somewhere. I mean, I don't remember the full story. He was looking for something, I guess. And he goes deeper and deeper and deep into the ocean and then suddenly he finds a light. Well, the light happens to be the angular fish that try to eat him. We also see the black swallower. It's actually an ill and he can swallow preys twice its size. At 5,760 meters, we meet the deepest sheer lake ever, the SS Will Grande. It sunk in 1941 and it took another 50 years for its remains to be found. At 6,000 meters, we're about halfway to the bottom of the ocean. Come on, we could take a little break. But then again, here is where officially the Mariana Trench starts. The underwater worlds come out all the ocean has geological formations just like you have on land first of all now you have mountains valleys hills caves you know canyons and all of that at the bottom of the ocean you have also such geological formations and the mariana trench is one of those it's actually one of the popular most popular of these geological formations it was discovered in touch when they were measuring the length of the ocean at 8848 meters this is the point at which the tip of mount everest would reach if it were to be turned upside down with its base at the top of the ocean but yet the tip would not be reaching the the bottom of the ocean there's still so much more to go in 1960 jack picard had done walsh would go into the challenger deep mission to discover the deepest part of the ocean it was found to be 11,000 meters they do this in a special submersible designed for this to stop they only stayed under the water as the pressure below cracked one of the windows and they had to ascend first some years later james cameron come on say man who explored the titanic would take another mission to the challenger deep he didn't get to the same depth jack has gotten to go though but with more time spent we get better in sight into the underwater world, the strange creatures found there, and the ill stillness that is experienced. The Challenger Deep is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean, the southern end of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench contains the Challenger Deep, which happens to be the deepest part of the ocean, an astounding 11,000 meters on estimate. Thanks for watching this video, we hope you like it. Which part of this episode did you enjoy the most? Drop your comments and subscribe so you get access to content like this. See you in the next video.